So, uh, starting with the name of Almighty Allah, in this video we will try to learn about the uh, Mohar circle. That how we can draw Mohar circle in Excel. So, before starting the video, I will request you all to subscribe our in this video we will try to learn about the mohar circle a general mohar circle that how we can plot mohar circle in excel in the next videos we will try to learn the uh, the process that how we draw the mohar circle for tri excel test to uh, determine the shear strength parameters so let's start this video with an example and you can see a soil element and the stresses are shown over here uh, this the stress that is 300 megapascal is acting uh, along the y-axis in uh, downward direction means it is acting uh, in compression and this stress uh, along the x phase is are uh, in the x direction is so firstly we need to define the sign convention so for this case we will take compression forces as positive and the tension forces as uh, compression forces as negative and tension forces as positive so for this case we have sigma x positive 400 megapascal and sigma y that is acting in compression so we will take it as minus 300. The next step is to determine the tau xy. Uh, firstly, we need to uh, understand what is meant by the tau and the subscript xy. Uh, the first subscript x shows the uh, the axis or the face over which the stress is acting. So uh, it means uh, the 200 megapascal is acting. Uh, the X phase and the second subscript Y shows the direction of the application of the stress. So it means this 200 megapascal shear stress is acting uh, in a Y direction along the X phase. So this is tau XY. So for this case, we will be taking shear stress uh, in that is in a clockwise direction as positive and anti-clockwise direction as negative. So I hope you have understood the meaning of tau xy and tau yx. So simply tau xy is 200 megapascal. Then you can see here the shear stress is producing anti-clockwise rotation. So we will take it as minus 200. The next step is to find out the average stress sigma x that is sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 because it will be used uh, in, in the upcoming formulas the next step is to find out the radius of the circle so radius of the circle can be found out by the formula sigma x minus sigma average and the uh, whole square plus tau xy square so here we can find out r radius as so firstly we need to have sigma x that is 400 minus sigma average power 2 plus plus tau xy square now bracket close to power one divided by two we can we can uh, represent square root as power uh, 1 by 2 in this way so here uh, we have found out the radius of the circle 
using this formula you can uh, read the these formulas in more details from the literature so now the most important uh, most important step for the for the plotting of Mohr circle as we we are to find out uh, or we are to plot the Mohr circle in 360 degrees so we will define the uh, angle in degrees from 0 degree to 360 degrees so what we will do is 2 3 and we will drag this sequence till 360 degree because we are planning to plot uh, a complete circle of 360 degrees so we will take the values of each angle because we need uh, to have the coordinates at each angle so till here you can see we have defined uh, 360 degrees of angle now we will go back and now we have to find out the angle in radians so we will simply apply the command of radians double click this one and okay so just drag this down and the angle will angle uh, will be converted into radians Now the angle has been converted into the degrees now the next step is to find out the degrees now the next step is to find out the stress at failure the formula is r that is radius from this formula cos 2 theta plus sigma average sigma average is sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 so you can read the this formula in more detail on your own so we will just apply this formula here the the main important concept is we will take 2 theta as uh, this angle so we will apply the formula is equals to r we have this r value multiply by cos cos and this angle in radians so we are taking 2 theta is equals to theta basically plus sigma average here now uh, as we have to apply this formula in all these uh, uh, cells so for that purpose we have to fix these things because these uh, these parameters will remain same throughout the cells so we will have to fix these parameters so to fix these parameter we will apply the sign of dollar just by clicking shift 4 similarly this parameter will remain same throughout the cells so we will apply control uh, uh, sorry shift 4 and in this way we will apply the uh, sign of dollar this will change throughout the cells so that is why no need to apply the sign of dollar over here so this is how we can find out sigma at failure now we will drag this okay now the next step is to find out the shear stress at failure and the formula is r sine 2 theta so simply we have the r value multiply by sine and we have the theta over here and we simply need to fix this value shift 4 
and now we have to drag this value down so now we are done with the calculations now we need to draw a circle so to draw the circle we'll go to insert and and here we will draw a circle so here we will plot the circle select data and we will delete this the already selected one now add data uh, along the x-axis we will be plotting this normal stress like this and along the y-axis we will be plotting Okay, click OK. So we can see the circle has been drawn. Now the circle has been drawn. Now the next step is to plot the failure envelope. So to plot the failure envelope, just select data, add another one, failure envelope. Well, along the x-axis, we will plot these values, and along the y-axis, we will plot these values. So, this is how we can plot the Mahur circle. You can see the failure envelope has been plotted. So, if you put the cursor over here, you can obtain these coordinates, these coordinates as well and here as well so now the next step is to find out sigma 1 by this formula sigma average plus r so and sigma 2 so by this formula we can find out the sigma average is 50 plus r and we have this value and sigma 2 can be found out by this formula sigma average minus r so this is how we can find out the sigma 1 and sigma 2 so this is the whole procedure uh, from which we can draw the Mohor circle. We can further uh, label the X's, X's and so on. So uh, in the next video, we will try to learn about the uh, drawing or plotting of Mohor circle for triaxial testing. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thanks and Allah Hafiz.